Well, I'm really enjoying coaching these young men. They play really hard uh, against uh, tough uh, odds with a number of players out, and I thought they battled. Uh, shot it well from the three and from the line, but we knew rebounding was going to be, uh, you know, an area that they would try to exploit given our size issues, and uh, I think that was a big difference in the game. But uh, these guys battled, and. Uh, you just got to tip your cap to Houston Baptist. A uh, question for both players. Uh, you guys were, you know, at it offensively, but it just seemed like, you know, you guys weren't able to do anything, especially, you know, uh, in the second half when they were shooting nearly 80% from the field. You know, can you comment on, you know, the effort and despite the fact that, you know, you guys are giving it your all, you're still putting shots in. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Say that we played we played really hard today, but some spurts of the game we just didn't connect together and you see how that affected in the second half. Shooting them shooting at eight percent, we were talking as much as we did in the first half. And the big thing in basketball you gotta communicate, so you know that hit big. Yeah, I agree. Like coach said, tip your hat to them. Um, but yeah, there's stretches where we weren't communicating as well as we should be and um, that affected uh, coach, uh, y'all came out pretty on rhythm. You hit some good clutch shots, uh, had good, good rhythm in the offense. Can you uh, just describe how that feeling was in the beginning? Yeah, I mean, they, with the ball, we were moving side to side, middle. Um, the guys were getting a good rhythm. You know, we shot pretty well from three, shot well from the line. Um, you know, we have some really bright moments when the ball's popping around like that. And our assist to turnover was solid. Um, you know, as I say, uh, we knew it, they really tried to be physical and assert themselves in the paint. Um, so I think that wore us down a little bit physically. But uh, like I say, these guys got after it hard, um, gave it all they had. And you got to tip your cap to Houston Baptist. For both, uh, two laughing. Uh, y'all were down at halftime, but y'all came through and at the half, after half, and got the lead. Can you just elaborate on that that feeling and what y'all are seeing at, at that moment? Yeah, um, I, mean, I think that is a lot to do with what has happened this season. There's been ups and downs. Um, but you just got to keep battling back. Basketball is a game of runs, so um, you just never want to make a run bigger than it has to be for the other team. Um, but yeah, we just we play hard, keep battling, and um, it was, there were stretches of games where we bounced back, but unfortunately they had a bigger run than us. Yeah, um, I can say the same thing as Drew. Uh, our plan is to share the ball. When we share the ball, the coach said great things happen when we came out there. The great things happened, you know, we came out with like two threes, two threes, and that just came from getting into the paint, getting out. Coach, uh, when it comes to uh, the pace of the play, especially in the second half, you know, it's how, you know, you touched on it earlier about the size. You know, how important was it for you to try to keep, you know, the pace to keep your guys, you know, have the opportunity to stay in the game? Yeah, we thought we tried to slow the pace down a bit in the first half and um, also in stretches of the second half. Uh, but you also want to take advantage of transition opportunities. You don't want to give that up. Um, we were hopeful that it would uh, affect their three-point rhythm. And they didn't shoot the three well. Um, but, you know, they asserted themselves out well. And that was our concern going into the game. And you got to give them credit for that. Um, and it's just something that you know you accept and you keep. And, and in basketball, you just compete really hard, fight, and then you know you tip your cap to a team if you if they get the W. And you got to do that in this uh, case. Coach, y'all you know, go back to the drawing board. Uh, season starts in the 2022, 23 season starts tomorrow. Yo, know, uh, what's the early outlook on your squad? Well, we love this, this squad uh, when it's in full effect. And so uh, we're eager to get everybody back that is on the IR and, and, and training and live. And that would be a huge first step for us. And
and then um, obviously um, we just we just got to build on the things that we did well this season. We shot the three well. We shot uh, free throws really well. Our assisted turnover in the second half was much of the season was much improved. And then um, uh, I think we're going to have uh, a much better ability to assert, assert ourselves in the paint, especially when we stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, please stick here.